Hello, and welcome back to Factorio. It, it's been one evening. The rocket yes. is almost ready. <laughs> and I did some other things, such as up here you will see a, a bunch of oh, green wow. spiders. Um, are we able to connect all of those to the same controller? Yes. Well, kind of. They all have their own controllers, but then they follow the main one, which I have a controller for. So I... Ah, all of the rest of them have their controllers just dumped in this crate. Um, and they're Do bound they... to follow the main one, which is a slightly different green, but not really noticeable. I see the main one's got a bunch of stuff in it. Most of them have a bunch of stuff in it. Um, the problem is, is the the rockets are quite slow to craft. We ran out of dynamite. We're now ah. making more dynamite, but... Okay, good. Um, I'm yes. also making centrifuges now. Yeah, we're making centrifuges and we're making uranium ammo. Um, ah, yeah, so basically the idea is we can send those out into a into a base and yeah. they'll just tank it. Like e Even my Spinotron tanked a base last night, so eight of them should be pretty good going. Yeah. Um, they've all got all of the gear in, all of their um, gear in their grid, if that makes sense. The exoskeletons and energy shields and laser defense and everything. It's just You've the... You've done a lot rockets they're missing yeah um, and then if we go I, down to the uranium so I have a pile of nukes on me now yeah which is good fun uh, let me oh I am um, I, I, I bodged in a waiting area for this copper train because that was causing issues <laughs> okay <laughs> had to be on the other side of the railway but it's fine <laughs> it's there now Right, are we going down to uranium? Yeah. It's not far. No, I also have to expand to parking a little bit. I think there's another four or five lines in parking because I was adding more copper trains. And then parking yeah, I did think it was worth adding more parking because it keeps getting full. And there's a uranium drop-off up there now, so the robots don't have to come all the way down here to get it. Uh, it wasn't coming down here to get it anyway. No, was it, it wasn't. It just The uranium wasn't going anywhere. So the, the train takes it up to the main base and the robots pick it up there. Okay, good. Uh, so you'll see there's been some expansion. <coughs> uh, there's a few more centrifuges. Yes. So this is a design I found online. The problem with this is... Um, it's actually got too much of the good stuff and not enough of the bad stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, hence why I've, I've had to double the uh, ore processing and double the mining, because we weren't getting enough of the bad stuff in to keep it running. Well, there's loads of bad stuff stocked over here. Yeah, but, it, I mean, it, the, this, the, the process uses up the bad stuff, because it, it uses five and only well, returns yes. two. Yes. So, but for every... We... For every cycle, bad than good. we need three bad input. But yeah. I mean, these these cycles are running pretty fast now. Uh, it's, I mean, it's yeah. a sixty second I mean, crafting time, but they've each got sort of eight speed module twos acting on them. So yeah, I mean, these ones are working. They're working fairly well still. Yeah, well, I left. Uh, yeah, I left the old system there, and it should. I mean, the old system will eventually stop when it runs out of its backlog of bad stuff. Oh, you disconnected its bad stuff. It's not. It's not got an input currently. It did have an input, um, but I was using an inserter with a circuit condition on a belt, uh, so that it would only nick bad stuff if the new system was saturated. Which it isn't. But the condition wasn't working properly. Yeah. Because of, I. It's, it's a bit difficult to explain, but I had the... It was reading a curved belt, so there would only ever be... if Even if the belt was stopped, there would only be one item under the reader. So I could only have okay. it set to, if there is more than zero items on that belt, activate the inserter. But that meant that yeah. if there were two in quick succession, the first one would activate the inserter and the second one would get picked up. Yes. Yeah. If it was on a straight belt, it would work better because I'd be able to say if there are more than two items, because I think you could get three under a reader. Yeah. Or maybe even four under a reader when saturated. And then it would only operate when it was saturated, but 
yeah, the way I had it set up and bodged in wasn't working, so I've disconnected it for now. Okay. In reality, we're getting more than enough from the new system. Like, that train yes. has got 120-odd in it of the good stuff, and it's not even been here five minutes. I mean, all it's useful is atomic bombs. Yeah. So The bad stuff's still useful, so we're still training the bad stuff up, but we're actually taking less bad stuff. Yeah. Oh, but we need some bad stuff. I had... Yeah. Some of this just pumping up bad stuff. I think. Have you still got the same? Yeah, there's still. Yeah. The two centrifuges down here are still pumping bad stuff direct to the train. Yeah. They're splitting the good stuff off to go up to the old. up to the uh, refining. Yes. So, in theory, all yeah. good stuff gets rooted up. Although, well, actually, no good stuff goes through into the system, it all goes straight to the train. When it comes out of the system, it goes straight to the train. Only bad stuff gets put into the system. Yes. I'm going to take stuff out of the train. I'm going to build some nukes. There's an autocrafter for them. I know. But I, that's not any faster than me doing it myself. No. But... So I think yeah, they... That's something I want to try out today. I wanted to test out the the Spidertron gaggle, as I'm going to call it. A gaggle of Spidertrons. Yes. I don't know I, what the tip out to be for Spidertrons. I heard. I heard. But some of them are really low on rockets, so I don't want to send them in, like, unarmed. Well, I think with the number you've got, between them there's plenty of rockets to take out an entire base. Yeah. Plus, Should I'm going to change mine to controlled rather than automated so I don't just fire my nukes randomly actually maybe I will I've only got the one so I could just chuck that in circulation and it would just yeah. fire it off at some point in the combat Whereas these guys are just firing explosive rockets they all have a large stockpile of items they've all got logistics requests um, where they're just requesting some generic things like ammo of various types, robots, um, logistics chests, walls, concrete, power, landfill, cliff explosives, repair kits. Yeah, so that, be worth... Because they've all got their own personal robo port, we can just send them out and they, they will build, they can build something. Yeah. Um, is, was the idea, like, it, it's, it's kind of pointless for our purposes because we're about to launch a rocket and be done, but... Wait. The idea is you could send them out to somewhere, clear it out, and then they would be able to just plop down the base of an outpost, like a bit of concrete, a bit of wall. Yeah. I think it's worth putting some electric mining drills in there. Potentially, as yeah. Well as some solar panels and chargers. I think that, because that's the kind of thing you'd want to clear an area for. So how, how is this going? We've got a shortage. Uh, I, I turned it off because it would have just finished otherwise. Ah, fair enough. Uh, while I was working on the Spidertrons. Anyway, let's send these we... Spidertrons out somewhere. Well, I'm going to go with them because I want to test out my nuke. I did I did a bit out to the west last night. Uh, you'll see there's a new oil field there that's better than the one I spent ages trying to get to. And closer. Right. They're 6540 crude oil yeah. field. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that that wasn't on our map before. Now it is. Uh, I'm gonna head up to that uh, spawn to the north of that oil field. I think if you want to spend the send the spider trans with me. Yeah. Um, let me go as well. I just need to yes. get in and. So I wouldn't do a direct line like that because you're gonna hit the ocean and. Your spider's not going to go anywhere. If you use shift, you can wow. put waypoints. I got... Um, so this appeared... It was actually three smaller bases to start with. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'd i started clearing out one, and then the, the other two sort of merged with it, and I had to stop. 
happened yeah. is my Spider-Tron alone was not sufficient. Right. I've slowed down, but I've increased uh, my shields. Yeah, the, the other matter is um, the, the green Spider-Trons only have two exoskeletons each. <laughs> because yeah. I replaced one exoskeleton with two personal laser defences. Hello, you've gone past me. Hello, I was only up to him. Right, I'm going to charge in at the big area and try and find my nuke in the centre and see what it does. Okay, I will then follow once you're done with that with the greens. Okay. Oh, there's a yeah, tiny spawn on the outside. Right. How well is this going to go? Am I going to explode? That was pretty effective. Yeah. Here come the green. <laughs> the horde. Yeah. Send the horde in. I assume they have shields and stuff. Yeah. They should be fine, really. There we go. Oh, God. This one. Got it. I hope all eight survived. Uh, so they so. should they should all have their own personal robo port with robots and they should all have repair kits so they should be able to repair themselves yeah mine's got that as well now um, yeah it looks like they've all survived I think Kenny died I didn't see any explode they were pretty good I like spider trans. Um oh yeah that right. was the thing I did so the, the concrete finished the concrete I laid last time finished um, being laid Yes. Oh, I've gone. Uh, yeah, you're gonna slam into the ocean again. I am gonna slam into the ocean. It's fine. They can slam into the ocean if they want to. I mean, the spiders are gonna get a little stuck. Right. Should we turn the rocket production back on? That is what I'm gonna do when I get back there. Is it? Yeah, it might take a little while to actually. Oh, it, it, it will be it's it, it will be. Well, it's just the processing time because it's got to do building still. Uh, well, the, the, no, the, the rocket parts, the, the, we've got all the parts for the rocket parts, the rocket parts are pretty quick. It will be max 30 seconds a minute. Okay. Are you just faster than your Spider-Tron? I think I am. I've got four exoskeletons, I think. Yeah. Spider-Tron's got three, I've got four. 98. 99. And the oh, last one. Very quick. 100. Prepare and there's the alarm that I set up, so it's good to know that works. Actually, that's not the alarm I, I set just... up, that's just the rocket silos alarm. I can only just hear that. Ooh, I see a rocket. Oh, it does actually count it as a pit. Like the Spider-Tron is not standing on the rocket. Right, can we um, insert the satellite? Nope. Uh, how do how do one insert satellite? <laughs> well, you put uh, you put logic on that. It's controlled by behaviour. Oh, it's not meant to be control. No, there you go. sorry, I forgot to turn off the enable disable. It was meant to be reading the hang contents, not enable disable. No. Based on it, the alarm didn't last no, long. No, it has a satellite. But that was the uh, I'm inserting a satellite oh, alarm. That... <laughs> 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 Launch, and then I will tick auto launch in. For future reference. Yes. <laughs> oh, Stand here clear. it goes. You're gonna get burnt there. It's fine. There's a hazard line. <laughs> I'm behind the hazard line. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Definitely safe. We win. Yay! <laughs> Seventy-seven hours. <laughs> Kills. Eight thousand five hundred five hundred trees. We killed so many trees. Not quite the. Uh, <laughs> Not quite the eight hours you should be able to do it in. No. We left it on for a while. Oh, we have white science. That's a lot of science. So what what science do we do now, Cam? Well, we I'll get that is the question. Range? That would be good, because the artillery shells currently have a very, very low range. To do that, we do need to launch another rocket. Do we? So, it's time, time to get back on that. Yeah, it requires 2,000 white 
Um, okay. It gave us well, one I mean, we're ten percent of the way to another one, but we're out of RCUs again. Um, why don't you stick some production modules in the rocket silo? Because I hadn't realised before, literally five minutes ago, that you could put production put modules in the rocket silo. Mm -hmm. Also, productivity modules are a weird one because they're only usable on intermediate products, which apparently the rocket silo is. Yes, because the white science is the end result. Yes. And the yeah, the parts are intermediary. It's it is weird. It's a it's a weird system. Because yes, you can't use productivity modules on some other things that they would have been useful on. Okay. I'm hidden now, you can't see me. Um well the science is going well. <laughs> yeah, it, until it gets fifty percent. This set of uh, this things is a good does seem to setup. keep I up. I hadn't seen it done like this. This is quite a good setup. In reality, we could probably have a fourth bank up top. Because it seems to be keeping yeah. up with feeding them up. Yeah, you still want to stretch it too thin. No. It's only just keeping up. So this is... Um, yeah, we're nowhere near max beacons on this because I've not been packing them in. No. But each lab has two productivity modules and then the beacons each have two speed modules. And each lab is covered by two beacons. Each beacon hits six labs. Yeah. That's a lot of beacons. A lot of modules. So it does make science reasonably efficient. Yeah. And because we haven't done any science in ages, there is actually the science packs to <laughs> to run this. <laughs> yeah. It'd be interesting to see if the rest of the science packs keep up with the rocket science packs. Yeah. Because the rocket I mean the rocket science packs are gonna be our, our bottleneck for a long time, just because the rocket is our bottleneck for a long time. Well that's what I'm saying, because that produces a thousand. I don't know how quickly we're producing a thousand of everything else. Yeah. Whether well, we bear produce... in mind that currently we're producing a rocket a day. <laughs> yeah. We're about to run out we're, of blue circuits again. They didn't uh, stop power at all. We're on low power now. Oh, wonderful. Um, oh, well. That's, That's not an issue because we we don't care anymore. We've launched a rocket. We've what's, done the game. What's drawing all our power? The the science labs are only drawing two point seven. The, the beacons are drawing twenty five megawatts. In fairness, yeah, the beacons are expensive. Um, it's the assembly machines that are drawing the bulk of the power. Though. There are one hundred and fourteen megawatts in assembly machine threes. I think that's just because we have so many, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I'd, 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 set up, I'd set up laying out more of the solar farm, but they, they've not finished building what you have already set up. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to run down to the solar farm and put my um, inventory down. I can't remember where... We are crafting solar panels, but I can't remember where I put it, because, again, it was bodged. Uh, I thought I did solar panels. Uh, they are bodged next to the left of the conveyor belts. The conveyor belt production, not yeah. just the conveyor belts on the floor. Uh, uh, next to where the tracks are being made. If that helps. Which it doesn't. No. Oh, there they are. Oh, there's only, it's only an assembly machine one on it. Ugh. Yeah. That's oh, good for ages well, that ago. Be, that could be assembly machine three, then. Yeah, I think all of our substations have been put down. It's just solar panels we're waiting for now. I mean, there are four in the in the network in the chest. Yeah, um, they're probably flying to go and pick them up. I mean, it is almost complete over here. I don't know. There's, there's still four hundred and seventy outstanding actions. Yeah, but from how many we asked them to put down? Yeah, that is only a fifth of them, I think. Yeah, I think I think the key is just to remember how long it has been running. Like they've they've not been quick. <laughs> yeah. Well, now they're probably in reality. I'd, for putting them down. 
that's not really what I asked you to, to make. So the copper drop-offs looking good. In reality, I'd love yes. it if they, um, <coughs> if we could fit in another crafter for them, but space. Yeah. But yeah, well, what now? Are we yeah, doing work on the base or are we finishing there? Um, I mean, we could finish there, but we could also pad out another 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> to make it for that I'd, episode. I'd okay. love it if the. <coughs> that uranium setup I made, the Cobra X processing I made, is so close to being fully operational. Yeah. Um. I'd love to get it fully operational. But I think we'd need to increase the mining again. Um, yeah. mind, not only do I have to down increase down. the mining and the number of centrifuges, I then also put speed beacons on all the centrifuges because they weren't running fast enough. It's going to draw a lot of power. Yeah. It's an expensive... I mean, it's a bigger cover um, process than we need, really. Um, well, yeah, because we don't need that many of the good type of uranium. No. The design is... The design was only six uh, centrifuges. The original design that I followed. Yes. Uh, there was a reason behind that. I can't remember what said reason was, but then it, it also said it is expandable this in this way. Um, so I just thought, well, we'll just, uh, just have more then. Just have 18. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's working. It's it's making us a lot of the good stuff. It's just we don't need that much. Yeah. I mean, I'd be tempted to stick down another layer of the um, centrifuges to do the initial processing. That's what I'm going to do. Um. Does stuff have to be on the correct side of a conveyor for what you've set up? No, it doesn't, does it? Not uh, what the uh, which, which what what setup? Um, the uranium processing, uranium ore processing into centrifuges. Yeah, no, that um, it it gets sorted after that point. Okay. Um, after the output. It's a shame the location of that substation it means that the uh, beacons won't reach those centrifuges, but oh well. Yeah. Up. There we go. How do you not have power? There we go. Just one outside the range. I know. The problem is because it is part of the network, sometimes a build instruction there does just call a bot from the main network rather than one of your personal ones. Yeah, which it's not the worst, it's not the best. Uh, no. There we go. So that should be connected up. What are they asking for in terms of modules? Oh, they're pressing from the base. Oh, well. Yeah, right, that should be connected up now. All right, the accumulators run out of charge again. Fun. Well, but also the point of needing a second uranium mine for all of this. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, After... the, the one we were going to use, we've never covered up with a solar field, but there is a new one up where we just cleared out some monsters. Yeah. I mean, there's also one on the train line. 17 million. 
for the um, northeast oil field. Yeah. Oh yeah, Which that's is... so so close. It's hidden. That's only nine million. Yeah, but it's still good. Because there's a tiny one on the island to the south of that. Yeah. Oh, you'll also you'll also realise I um I had to set up a second copper mine. We just weren't putting copper on trains fast enough. Yeah. No, I saw the copper drop offs looking saturated, which is good. Yeah, it's taken a long time to get it saturated. Yeah. Right, I need to go and put a radar over at the new copper mine. I forgot to do that uh, yesterday. Yeah, I was trying to zoom into it, but I can't, I can't see it. The module's uh, production was saturated last night as well. Um, it probably isn't now because we've just oh, placed a load of modules. But Yeah. So this that line the new line I've put down is slowly building up. So that's good. Um what's less good is that I should have put uh the modules in all of these. I didn't. So let's copy and paste them down again. radars I've placed. There we go. Now they've modules in. Better. There we go. You should be able to see the new copper mine now. Uh, I can. And then I need it to go and place some radars next to the solar panel farm. That's the got thing. two pickup trains. It does. Uh, both of them do. The old copper miners yeah. too as well. Oh, okay, that's um, quite nice. Parallel loading because that was the other issue: is we weren't loading them, we were loading them slower than we were emptying them. Yeah. Um. But even with two loading stations at the old mine, we just weren't mining fast enough from that one to load two trains. Yeah. So with uranium, are we getting enough of the bad stuff through? Because it seems like we're getting more good stuff than bad stuff coming back to the base now. Yeah, so this is the thing. is It has always been slightly more of the good stuff than the bad stuff. We're still getting a reasonable amount of bad stuff, but it would be good to get more because we use more of it. Yeah. Um, I can do that. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. We should be getting a little bit more of the bad stuff now. Maybe. Whole solar farm should be covered by radars again now, finally. Uh, it's a bit awkward that radars aren't included in the. Uh, in the blueprint. I guess because yeah. you don't need one per tile of the blueprint, but it means that when you're expanding it out, if you go too far, then you can't see the middle of it because you can't get a radar in the right place. Okay, right. Yeah, in terms of uranium supply here at the moment, fluid yeah, pipes! So where's, where's the uranium drop off? I don't know if uh, next to the oil drop off. Ah, okay. We're almost. We've almost got a full request of chest of two three five. Uh, three rows I'm of the... request of chest of two three eight. Yeah, that's not doing too badly. It's got five hundred more. Five hundred more of the good stuff than the bad stuff. But yeah. But well, then yeah. they're both being used as well, so. Yeah, they are. I mean, the the bad stuff's being used faster, in theory. Yeah. Because the good stuff's only being used for the atomic bombs. Yes. Um, which 
Oh, uh, actually, we, we can't. It, it's never putting anything in the atomic bomb crafter because they need RCUs, which we don't make. Yeah. Um, whereas the other ammo just needs the existing ammo to be upgraded with 238. So constantly using 238. And that is constantly being put in my inventory in the various Spider-Trons. There's a robot somewhere that has a centrifuge for me. Ah, I found it. Found the robot. Yes, we should be making centrifuges. Yeah, I was making them all by hand before. It's my, it was my expansion was like, I can't bother to make ten centrifuges by hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the robots to bring them down. And we've got auto crafters for all of the um, power armor components because obviously eight spidertrons needed quite a few of them. Yes. I've got another three spidertrons ready and the ingredients for a fourth. Um, so I could could make another four, but I think eight's probably enough. <laughs> yeah. I might, some of them only have sort of 200 rockets, but I might send them out on another clearing mission. I think I'm going to put a beacon down over here, I think. There we go. Go and clear some more bases with the robots. Yeah. Uh, right, let's put... I mean, the the some... biters do get more aggressive the more you clear them, but... Yes. At this point, I don't yeah. think that's a major issue. I Once I've finished making these atomic bombs, I'm going to just put them in my rotation and just charge the device. So I've got five nukes. Yeah. Which should have a bit of an impact. Did you put down another solar panel area? Yes, I've expanded the... Uh... I just saw the alerts increase massively. Right. I love that this this group of spider trots could just walk into a base and destroy it instantly. It is it is quite nice. And their rockets do have quite a high range, all things considered. Much yeah, higher than the range good. of our stuff. Well, I mean we can get rocket launchers. We can get we them can. as a handheld weapon if we wanted to. And I assume they would have the same range. Probably. Ooh. The one downside is the Spidertrons do get through the rockets reasonably quickly. <laughs> yes, it's very expensive. Um, our science yeah. has gone to 57%. Yeah. Does that mean we've had multiple rockets? No. But they require 4,000 white science. E remember each of the science things has productivity to Two productivity three uh, modules in it. Okay, so that'd be why. That's why my, my math. They're producing maths extra thing. science cycles. Yes. But I prioritise speed in the beacons, so they're not quite doubling. I, I don't know how many productivity modules you need to hit each each science thing with to double the science. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, we've more than doubled it. So you remember that problematic base over to the uh, top right by the new oil field? Yes. I'm Are sending go... the I'm sending the horde. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to take all this base down here with a couple of nukes in rotation. Oh, okay. That's a bad that's idea, gone, apparently. That's not gone great for you, has it? <laughs> no, I, I was in my spider, <laughs> I, and it fired a nuke on itself. It's a good thing we've got some spare Spidertrons. Uh, yeah, I've got to re it out as well. Yeah, we should have pretty much all of the components. I think. Hopefully. I mean, we should do. Uh, right, Spidertron. 
I have a spider. I get a couple of reactors. I'm on spiders. Almost there. I, this is still quite a large base, all things considered. I'm a bit concerned. Some of these spiders don't have that many rockets. Yeah. Right. Let's get the spider from to the right colour. Red. That needs some um, energy shields. Are we making energy shields? We are. Oh. It's fine. It's been destroyed. Oh, it's just construction robots. Yeah. I was going to say, it's almost certainly construction bots trying to repair the spider shots. Yeah. Right, that's one base down. These are massive bases, to be fair. Like. <laughs> yes. Um, what else going to need? I need a perfect oh, have... robo port. Okay, now that's a that's an entity being damaged, Spidertron, not a uh, not a destroyed Spidertron. That's fine then. They uh... can be damaged. That's not a problem. Are we making personal robot ports anywhere? Yeah. Ah, yeah. We're making Mark IIs, but they're expensive, so they're, they're not being made quickly. Yeah. They're like 100 blue circuits each or something, I think. Um, let me get some robots in here. Come on, fix yourself up. Those, and then back in we go. Those. Let's get some repair kits. Right, that's that base gone. Let's go and uh, do this one on the coast. There we go. Well, I've got some ammo. Let's there we go. Back down to my body. That's everything I would have previously considered a major risk. Is now gone up here. <laughs> uh, I need to make a remote control. Rocket control unit and a radar. I've been making the controllers manually, to be honest. For some reason, yeah. I always seem to have enough components for ten of them in my inventory. Uh, I'm going to go pinch a rocket control unit after the uh, the rocket silo. Where yeah, our blue circuits again. We got a fifth of the way to another rocket before we ran out of blue circuits. Unfortunately, due to the number of modules we've used, we're not going to have blue circuits again for a while. There we go. Big radar. Can I not make a radar? Ah, I did make a radar. There we go. Right, back down to where my body was. Oh, that is interesting. I can hmm. see where we've nuked on the map. It just turns into a black circle. Yeah. Probably so nukes feel the like they're something for remote spider trucks. Yeah, there's something to not use while you're charging in. Yeah. If you run at the nuke, the nuke will land on top of you, is what I've learned. <laughs> not not a good idea. Not a good idea. <laughs> Would advise against it. 
unless you want to make a new spider tron. Uh, right. Let's stick the power core in. Our electricity network is a bit of a mess. But... Right, we have auto targeting on. Yeah, I'm going to look at what you're doing from the radar. There's, there's the, the site of the nuke. And, and your yeah, corpse just in the middle of it. <laughs> right in the middle. I don't have a lot of ammo. I've only got 36 rockets left. But that's fine. Well, I can send the uh, I can send the horde down when it gets back. No, nope, I'm good. If there's anything else that needs clearing, but I think we're okay down there. Yeah. Right, I will head back up to the base. So I think the thing is, we, we know what we would do if we wanted to carry on. The main I mean, thing is we need... Stabilised rocket production. Yeah, well, the, yeah, the main thing is we need blue circuits, so we'd need basically new mines dedicated to blue circuit production, <laughs> how many we need. Yeah. Um... But I'm not sure I can be bothered to try and implement that right this second. No, it seems to be quite a lot of work. <laughs> Which isn't to say I might not. I might just carry on all this after we're done I mean, on this world. Go for it. I don't mind. Because I don't see a point in making a new world until after the expansions come out. Yes. So I'll just and carry on playing this one for a bit. Hopefully, we'll be back for the expansion. Yes. Whenever we'll that may come out. Depending on the price. <laughs> well, we know the price now. <laughs> well, do we? I haven't seen that. Yeah. Okay. Likely to be thirty dollars. Well, that's not bad. That's, that's uh, which I think it's pretty standard, much in line with the base game. Yeah. Right. I'm almost back. Almost I really back. should have put the some legs returned. on my. Oh, that's good. I, I do. I park the horde a bit further north because it is quite sizable. <laughs> it is. You can just hide in the trees. Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm hidden now. So yes, we're, we're nineteen percent of the way to another rocket, but we ran out of blue circuits. What a surprise! Oh, and I've got 200 on me. I could just chuck in there. Yeah, I've got so I could chuck in. But it's only going to run for so long, though. It'll it's, run for longer it's than we're recording. a thousand blue circuits per... Per, per thousand well, no, it's, no, it's a thousand RCUs, isn't it? Yeah, which is a thousand blue circuits. Yeah. So it's a thousand blue circuits per rocket. Um, do you need blue circuits to make the speed units? No. Only the second tier. Yeah. So yeah. A thousand um, blue circuits. Expensive. I mean, which is what you have to work back from. Because if you if you want to measure your base in rockets per minute, or even rockets per second, as some people do. Yeah. Um, you you count back. If we wanted a, a rocket a minute, we'd need a thousand blue circuits a minute. That's excessive. One I'm not even, assembly that's, machine. And that's just for the rockets. Yeah. We need to produce a blue circuit well. has ten seconds crafting time. It needs twenty greens and two reds, and each red is another two greens. So it's twenty-four green circuits. Yeah. Every ten seconds, per every one of those thousand blue circuits, <laughs> so twenty-four thousand, I guess. It's something for you to aim for. Five hundred divided by three, so about one hundred and seventy. One hundred sixty-six. One hundred sixty-six. Um. Emit. Uh. Yeah. It's 166 times 24, except not. I don't know what calculation I'm doing. 
I think it would be about <laughs> well, be a thousand green circuits a second as well. But uh, about a thousand yeah. green circuits. The green circuits are made faster. They're made a lot faster, but you need twenty four times as many. Yes. But they made yeah, you need twenty four times as many, but they're made twenty times as fast. I mean so what you need to do is just get it balanced out and then just copy and paste the whole thing. Yeah. Until you but yeah, re realistically, I think the best way to set this up is to have a dedicated area for your rocket launching and crafting the yes. components of it. Where you you build you you train in the raw materials and they're just all made into the components needed for that rocket. <laughs> yeah. But oh well. Uh, we got some, next time we got some white sides. We'll the game is technically finished. But the game is finished. We launched a rocket. You don't even need to get white science to finish the game. The game finishes before you get the white science. Oh, yeah, you don't need to put the satellite in. <laughs> <laughs> we just chose to. We, we haven't made yeah. a second satellite yet. That needs more blue circuits. <laughs> yes. There's 100 blue circuits per satellite. Oh, it's so expensive. But it's fine. We did it. We launched one. We did. We completed the game. We will never launch a second. <laughs> I mean, just leave the server on for the next week. Then you might get another one. So, I think we'll leave it there then. Yeah. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.